So in this video tutorial, you are going to learn about how to derive continuity equation uh, for cylindrical coordinates, right? So no more time, let's get started. Make this diagram a little bit bigger. That's why it, there 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 would not be any hodgepodge, right? It's phi. This is phi. This is U C. This side U C curly curly U C by curly. This direction is R, and this is delta R. And this side I am taking U phi. Therefore here U phi plus curly u phi by curly in this direction phi only this r should be here multiple r del phi okay this is about the diagram and this is known as phi angle okay so this diagram is most important for you know for continuity cylindrical coordinates this is linear coordinates we are taking and uh, just follow my step and uh, keep doing by yourself also take a pen and a paper and just start doing derivation because only watching derivation cannot help you to can definitely can help you to understand it but if you wanted to do derivation in the examination then you have to practice you have to drive it yourself at least twice or thrice then only you can able to derive in the examination Okay, because uh, my videos will not be there <laughs> to help you so you will be there only so you are the one who need to understand all things right so let's get started so what happened if I am seeing mass flow rate entering entering radially okay radially and uh, here radius I am taking as R is equal to UC rho are curly phi curly z okay now if something is entering and it is an open channel then definitely something would be leaving so i can say mass flow rate leaving radially at radius r you can say right is equal to what will happen now here is the thing you need to understand if something that is entering and then definitely something is leaving but here radius is r plus del r or not only r because there is small part i am taking considering here a small part the small part is known as del r so what will happen in this case you will see curly you will see curly r del r multiple rho r plus del r curly phi and then curly z okay now you can clearly see the differences between this equation and this equation that's because of here and here okay so this is about the equation and now what we have to find out it's uh, a net net flow rate or net things are remaining in this uh, in this in this control volume i can say so before going to do that just do multiplication of these things because here i am getting lot of things to multiply right so this is a multiplication so it takes time and of course it takes for you I and mean, it will take time for you to understand the whole things also right so first of all what i am doing nothing about it we'll get four terms here okay just multiple you see with this one so you see rho r uh, del phi and del z so here what will get them qc curly r del r the same thing i am writing here yeah so the same thing i am writing here then and uh, rho r plus del r curly phi curly z right now again we have to multiply we'll get two terms from here we'll get two terms from here so what exactly we're getting rho uc right r curly phi curly z plus rho u c del r curly phi curly z plus curly u c curly r del r then del phi then del z then rho then r plus you can say curly u c curly r 
Pascal, Del R, Del R, Del Phi, Del Z, Rho, and definitely there not be R because there is only one R. So now think about it here all these small terms because of these small terms if you have multiple point one multiple point one then this will become more smaller right so because of this term is quite small this is really small that's why we are neglecting this term and we are considering all these three terms are you getting my point because this term is quite quite smaller that's why now if you are thinking about net net mass rate leaving in the radial direction so we have to find out so we use the base right so we have to find out net mass rate leaving in the radial direction okay so we have to find out this only so here is it you see rho del r del phi and del z plus curly u c by curly r rho r del phi del r and del z so this is the thing we have written already now how, how i am getting these things that is what exactly i am doing i'm just the, let's say this equation is equation 2 and this is equation 1 so exactly what i'm doing i'm doing equation 2 minus equation 1 after doing this i am getting this thing are you getting my point now this is really important this is really important this thing don't require this you need to what you need to do you need to subtract now now look at the common terms we are getting here we're getting common terms here as this and this right and we can say curly phi curly r and curly z is curly v okay total volume we can say that so just write rho curly v u c curly r rho r this this is the thing we are getting now we can get outside what we can get these things common also so rho curly v u c curly u c by curly r into r so this is the thing we get in case of what direction in case of direction that is the radial direction so radial direction we are getting this right now think of, think of yourself we have done we have gone I mean, we have done equation for only one direction that is radial direction now what we have to do now we have to do similarly for phi direction as well as z, z direction we have to do equation for other both equation so let's go for it similarly similarly phi direction what we will get for phi direction we are getting here u phi plus curly u phi by uh, r curly phi then r del phi right i have to multiple this way rho rho curly r and curly z minus u phi curly del r del z so what exactly we are getting here 1 by r curly u phi curly phi rho del v okay because this one and this one get cancelled so we'll get this one only now I'll, i can say for z direction what exactly we are getting if we'll get z direction z direction we are getting here u z plus curly u z by curly z del z right and here rho del r multiple r del phi minus u z rho del r multiple r multiple del phi now what exactly getting see like this like the here what happened this one and this one get cancelled here also this one and this one get cancelled so what will get here curly u z by curly z rho delta v why it is happening because i have already shared with you this thing we are considering here right that means del phi del r and del z is equal to del v so because of that we are we, uh, we have done this here also and here also we have done this now 
what we have to find out net F flux across the cylindrical control volume EG because we know that so we can say net flux across the across the cylindrical cylindrical uh, control volume is sorry is zero so what we can write u c by r curly u c by curly r rho del v 1 by r r u phi by curly phi rho del v plus curly u z by curly z rho del v is equal to 0 so we can send i mean we can get common and send that side so what we we'll get u c by r plus curly u c by curly r plus 1 by r curly u phi by curly phi plus curly u z by curly z is equal to 0 so this is the equation we got uh, continuity equation for the case of cylindrical coordinate for the case of cylindrical coordinate of course i have shared with you already how to find out a uh, continuity equation for cartesian coordinates in my uh, my videos and definitely that one is more simpler than this one cylindrical coordinate so if you are preparing for your university examination then uh, for this cylindrical coordinates is also important and of course it required time for uh, deriving the equation i hope you understand and it will help you to get good marks in the examination best of luck for examination thank you very much for watching and thanks a lot bye bye